there was a little boy that had a dream, and his dream was to be like a football player that he met. Ever since Scott Delgadillo was four, he cheered for the Irish. Like Scott, Shane Walton grew up in San Diego. They met and became friends at a Notre Dame game in September of 2000. Scott, uh, got up and spoke at the pep rally two years ago and had 15,000 people crying just on the streets that he just went. tell you everything is Notre Dame. His closet, every poster on the wall. I mean, I know it was huge for him to experience his first game. That special day, Scott saw Shane intercept the pass. He saw the Irish win on a last second field goal. But what he never saw was the game ball the team awarded him. I lost Scott January 29, 2000 to leukemia at the age of 14. Carmen had called me and told me he had just got moved up to ICU and I, I came in and uh, he asked his parents to leave because he wanted to talk to me and he, he told me he had a, about a dream he had about he'd beaten leukemia and he was at Notre Dame and he was wearing my number. I mean, that touched my heart. Oh my love. I heard that Shane had uh, Scott's picture in his locker, and I'm honored that my son was able to change his life or inspire him. Every day when I come in there, if I've had a bad day or, or anything, I look at that picture and, and think what it, what, it, what it would have meant for him to, to be in my position. I just enjoy every minute of my life because you never promise another minute in life, and that's what he's taught me. Shane now makes it a habit of spending time with kids at the local Boys and Girls Club. He says it makes him feel free. As for Scott, well, he finally did make it back to Notre Dame. Last year, his family had a service there. He's buried with a Notre Dame cap, and on that cap is the number 42. I'm still with him, and I'm, I'm thinking about him, and he, kn he knows that. And as long as you have a positive attitude, there's a little boy that had a dream. The little boy's dream never came true. If I could live that dream for him, um, that's, that's what I want to do.